45 seconds, someone in this country has a stroke. Cecily Wilson knows that far too well. She's a stroke survivor. Now she has teamed up with another stroke victim to get the word out about stroke prevention, especially for women. Did you know women are two and a half times more likely to die from a stroke than breast cancer? I learned firsthand that a stroke can strike at any time and any age. Valerie Green was just 31 when she had her stroke, and it left the high-powered businesswoman unable to walk or even speak. Her comeback has been nothing short of a miracle. I was angry. I was upset. I mean, why would this happen to me? I was in the prime of my life. I was just learning how to rollerblade. And, you know, I had a great time, and then I mean, just in a second, I was paralyzed, drooling, mangled up in a hospital bed. It was pretty bleak. They told me I would probably never walk or talk again. And, uh, and when Social Security awards you your benefits very fast, that's a good sign you're probably not going to be around long. <laughs> wow. You know, when you think of recovering after that, it wasn't easy. There were some challenges. I don't want to sugarcoat this. For anybody who's gone through a stroke, it is hard work to recover. The brain does recover. It's been proven it does recover. Now, some cells naturally do die, but a lot of them have been stunned. So they do have an opportunity to come back. But it takes hard work from, I, I'm so grateful to all my therapists, my speech therapists, my physical therapist, my occupational therapist. So people believed in me. They saw something in me, the potential that I had. And thank God they did, because that kept me going. But it was a lot of hard work. We love the shot of your before and after, but there's something really significant about that. For a long time, I wouldn't show that picture to anybody because I was, you know, it was a bad hair day. <laughs> <laughs> we all have them. It was bad. <laughs> I had to really realize that that was worth of 10,000 words showing where I was and where I am now because it's hard sometimes when I walk up on stage and I present so well, people sit in a wheelchair thinking, you know, she has not been through what I've gone through. And yet I have. Like I say, my speech and sometimes my limp are almost as if there are scars that, that once I get talking and working with somebody, they realize that, yes, she has been down that road. So tell us more about the Bee Center and how it's helping those in that recovery process. Well, first of all, it's hope. Hope changes everything. And hope is a cornerstone of recovery. If you believe you can, you can. For helping, for healing, for wholeness, we can be better together. A bee, a bumblebee, should not be able to fly because its wings are too small for its body. So the fact that it can fly is a symbol of how our ability to go beyond what we think is possible symbolizes back to the bee. So it's perfect with stroke and of course our organization is a hive of hope. So we all come together for the good of each other, for the whole, for the hive. And what are you doing within that center to help those who are recovering? We want people to realize that they are not alone in this. There are 20 million stroke survivors in the world. And the world is getting smaller and smaller. I Skype and communicate and coach stroke survivors on a daily basis from the Philippines, from Germany, Australia, Texas, doesn't matter where it is. I've even offered hospital visits. They thought that the photograph was just maybe photoshopped or something, they didn't know, in this technology. And when I walked into the hospital room, they'd start crying. They, they said, they, that very second, just seeing me, without even saying a word, they knew that it was possible that they could recover. What is the one takeaway from your story? Never give up. Never give up. I think it's only natural that people want to give up. They reach a point, and we all have bad days, let's face it. Even I wake up some days and want to read my own book. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... Someone's going to tell you, don't give up, don't give up. You know, you see fighters in the ring, and they get in the corner. No matter how good they are, no matter how hard they're fighting, they get weak. And who whispers in their ear is their coach. Never give up. You're an inspiration to so many. You're an inspiration to, to me. And seeing you every day surviving and thriving keeps me going. So thank you. Well, thank you.
Valerie says it's so important for everyone, but particularly women, to be attuned to their body and to know how to recognize the warning signs of a stroke. Since learning to walk and talk again, she's made it her mission to help others believe that they too can overcome anything.